Welcome to the Z Hut. Today we are going to take a look at doing soda pop bottle threads. Uh, we're going to look at the inside threads, the female threads that are on the cap, because most likely that is what you would be looking to design something that you would want to um, 3D print to put on a pop bottle like your own cap so you know what soda is yours. Um, also other bottles, you know, like spray bottles and other bottles you can find. Um, I've, I've found will have the same threads as this. But your regular little pop bottles and your two liter pop bottles will be these threads. The uh, those big slam bottles though, those are a bigger thread. Um, these definitely will not fit. But all right, with that, uh, we're gonna need uh, Design Spark uh, Mechanical, of course, it opened up. So we'll go to File, <coughs> under New, go to Design. No, I found the uh, specifications for these threads online. There's plenty of places to find them. I did a little peeking and tweaking with them because if you just put in the exact diameters they have for the threads, um, it, it just fits too tight. You would literally need to use like a channel lock to screw them on and something would probably break. I peeked and tweaked them a little bit, did a couple test prints. Um, the ones, uh, what I've come up with here, these fit nice and tight. Um, they're not all sloppy and loose, but yes, you can still screw it on and off without the need of a channel lock or a vice grip. So, all right, let's get started. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, we'll click um, on plain view and we'll go to circle. Put circle and we want our first circle, which is our inner diameter at 25.5 millimeters. We'll hit enter. Drag out another circle from the inside. Now you could also do a polygon from here if you wanted, uh, you know, the outside look like a nut to easier to turn it on and off. And you can also go back and add that afterwards. But we want the outside at 32, and this is the minimum. So I recommend designing your threads this way and then going back afterwards. And if you want to make it like a nut on the outside, add the polygon afterwards. And uh, make sure, well, I'll show you here. Make sure that your polygon, the minimum distance in stays outside of the circle. So right there would be your minimum size. Um, now this is a, um, a six-sided, you could go 12, whatever. Actually at the end, if I have some time, uh, we will take a look at making a cap out of this quickly after we finish the thread. So I'm gonna escape out of there. How we wanna go and click on pull, then we'll go to our home view and we'll drag this up a little bit and hit the space bar to lock it. And I'm going to make this 10 millimeter. That should be more than enough for a cap. Um, I think 12 millimeter up to 12 will work, but 10 millimeter should be more than enough for this. All right, um, then I'm going to click on select here and I'm going to delete that center. We don't need that. Then uh, bring that back into view by clicking home. Then we'll go up here, select our plane tool. Bring that into the center, click that add it, then hit escape after we have it. Then come down and get it so it highlights blue like this. Click it once. Then come up here and highlight our uh, section mode. Click on that and it'll give us a split down the middle view. Then go up uh, under um, traumatic view selection here and go down. And we want the right and that'll give us a nice view from the middle at the front. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to design a little tool and then we're going to use the rotate function and uh, it'll just be a little triangle tool we design and we'll use the rotate with a defined pitch and basically we're going to use the program like a lathe. We're going to make the part spin as we drag the part through at a specific pitch and cut our threads. So let's get going with that. We'll first come up and select our line tool. And right here on the corner between that darker green, the olive green like, and then that brighter green, click on that. We want to come straight up and we want a 0.75 millimeter. Hit enter and drag up again. It should still be connected. You shouldn't have to hit enter and then hit 0.75, um, excuse me, not enter. You shouldn't have to click on it again. Sorry about that. Then we'll put in our 0.75 and hit enter. So now we have a line and we can hit escape. Now we have a line that's 1.5 millimeters long, but we have a center here at the middle and that's what we want. 
So now we're going to click on there and bring the line out and we're going to go two millimeters and hit enter. And then we're going to complete this as a triangle like that. And then just trust me, if you skip this step, you can run into some problems. You just won't see the threads even though they're there. Just box this out, bring it out. And uh, that way when the tool pulls through, you won't for some reason have a layer in here where you can't see the threads even though they were cut. Um, if it don't make sense, I'm sorry, just the easiest way to, to describe this is just do it this way. It's going to work better for you. And we're going to click on trim away and we want to trim away our lines in there. So now we have our tool. All right, so next we're going to click on pull. And then we're going to click on our tool once. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to click on rotate. Then we're going to come over and click right here in the middle and it'll turn dark blue. Then we're going to come down and we're going to click the cut. Then come down, click on revolve helix. Come over to the pitch, click on that and you want a pitch of 0.2 or excuse me, 2.7 millimeter. Then hit enter. Then our height, we need a negative number because we're bringing it down, we're not going up. So we're gonna put a negative. Now, my height on this was 10 millimeter. So I want the threads to go all the way through. So I'm gonna put a negative 12 and that'll ensure that the tool cuts all the way through. If um, you were designing something and you only like wanted the threads to go halfway through, if this was 10 millimeter, then you do a negative number of negative five and it would cut the threads halfway through. Um, also, you could design this tool on the bottom section here and then just do a positive number. I don't know, this is just the way I prefer doing it, having it at the top. That's just how I've always done it. So, all right. So we put in our negative 12 and we're gonna hit enter. Bam, that should have cut our threads. So we can click out of everything. We'll drag or view down a little bit, look at that, there's our threads. So I'm gonna hit home, bring this in. So now, uh, what we can do is uh, we click on there, so you see how that turns that blue? Click on that once and um, hit delete. We don't need that anymore. So there's our threads for our pop bottle. So now, we wanna make a cap out of this, all right. We got a little bit of time here. We're only about like not eight, even eight minutes in. So I'm going to click up here on our sketch and we want to, you know, choose a plane. And I'm going to select, oh, we want to do this on the bottom. Otherwise, I have to afterwards, I'll have to rotate the piece because if I'm, I'm going to be 3D printing this, I don't want to add support. So I want the cap, the solid part um, on the bottom. Sorry, then I'm going to click on plane view. And uh, let's start by making it look like a nut. So I'll click on the polygon, bring this out. Um, let's see, I'm gonna hit uh, tab twice and bring that instead of six, let's go 12, hit enter. Is it not gonna let, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I like that 12 sided. Uh, see, I could do it that way. That would work good, but to speed things up so I don't have to go around and click on each little individual section, I'm gonna bring it out to 34 millimeters. And I'm just gonna, oops, tab, enter. I'm gonna lock it in at 34 millimeters. All right, then we'll bring us up to the home here. We'll go to our pull, we'll select, uh, See here, pull up, select pull up tool, and we'll click on that once, and then we'll click on that surface. There we go, we pulled it up. So now it looks, uh, it'll have better grip for taking our cap and then tightening it on. So now what we need to do is we need to make that solid in there. So all right, um, I'm gonna rotate that back, um, bring that better into view. We're going to click on our plane view here. Um, actually, hold on. Let me check. Um, we might. Oh, come on. Yeah, get me back in the poll. We might be able to just 
drag. Yeah, that's right. I still have, I didn't delete that plane right there that was already there. Um, let's see, we want, let's make it, so we'll click on the middle because we never deleted that. And I'll hit spacebar to lock that. And let's make the thickness two millimeter. That should be more than enough. Click enter. And uh, we'll make sure we're clicked off of everything. And then we'll click the up to tool again and click that and click that. And I accidentally clicked the edge of that, didn't I? Come on, escape out. I goofed there. It popped up just as I clicked on it. I'm going to click on that. It popped up and I clicked on that accidentally. We'll click on that. There we go. Now we can click on our home view. Now we have our own custom cap for a soda bottle. And uh, you could even go in and maybe put an initial on here or uh, some other design. There's plenty of tutorials on how to add lettering and stuff on uh, Design Spark Mechanical. So I'm not going to go into that. I'll leave that up to you. So, All right, well, that is how you do the soda bottle threads and also how to make your own little cap. So I hope you found this information useful. You did. Please give us a thumbs up. Um, so with that, I'll say have a great day. And, uh, well, we hope to see you here again in a future episode.